Hello guys, welcome back. It's been a little while. We are bailing up third cutting right now. And I'm getting the semi started up. It's got the 30 foot gooseneck on here. We're going to grab the skid steer and the bail grapple. We are square bailing all our third cotton, or as much as we want to anyway. We'll figure out what that consists of in a bit. And so yeah, I'm going to grab the semi, pull the trailer around, load the skid steer up, head out to the field. Now, before we get into our episode here of third cutting hay, um, I want to go through and showcase this product with you that was sent to me for free so I could use it and give you guys my honest feedback. I especially asked that they don't put any words in my mouth. I want everything to be purely honest. If I don't like the product, I'm going to tell you guys. If I do like it, I'm going to tell you guys. And at the end of the day, we'll see how it sizes up. Here is super clean all wheel cleaner. Left side has been uh, sprayed, scrubbed, and then the entire wheel was rinsed. So even this side has gotten a good rinsing and that is just still black as can be. This is their multi-purpose everyday cleaner. And we're gonna try and clean up this drone. We're getting all this green fungicide film off of it. So let's see how it does. You can see it doesn't wipe off with your finger at all. This is our final product, guys. This entire drone was cleaned with just super clean, a scrubby, and the hose to rinse it off. You can see this styrofoam cowl, there's no green left on them. The body, there's no green left on the body. The tank is clean, the props are clean, the nozzles completely clean, the landing gear, nothing on the landing gear whatsoever. This cleaner did an amazing job. I am really happy with the job it did. Now, if you guys want to check out Super Clean for yourself, check them out. I will put a link in the description. They are also in a lot of major retailers across the country. Now, I will send you guys back to our third cutting hay episode. These are the fields that you saw us bale, I believe it was first cutting. Um, this field that I'm standing in, there's 90 bales in here alone. Not even counting that other field. The next field's even better yet. So. Third cotton is treating us well, and it is out yielding first cotton by, I think each of these fields did 50 or 60, I believe. So we're almost doubling what we got on first cotton. I have that field and this field picked up. There's still 40 in the next field, uh, but I have 190 on the trailer right now. There's uh, four stacks of 40 and then one stack of 30 on top. We're gonna take this up, park the truck at the farm. I'm gonna grab my pickup and I will probably hook the skid steer trailer on, bring it back, but I'm not gonna grab the skid steer to unload. I'm gonna go, uh, start bailing again uncle billy left so he is i'm gonna pick up bailing we got five acres there four acres down the road and then that's third cutting bailing wrapped up and then it's just picking up bales from there on out all of that hay is gonna go right here we still got room where the straw's at so should be able to fit I'm thinking now, with seeing what yields we're getting, probably half of it here. And then we have a bay over in this barn over here that will stack it. So that's 200 bales, I think I've, or 190. I think I figured I can fit 400 in here. Um, we'll see. Uh, there's 70 in a stack. I got room for four stacks. Uh, at least 300, but we'll see if I can stack taller. 
we go. We're going to go start bailing. Uh, Dad's going to bring us his wine because we didn't expect to get this much hay, so we are uh, burning through the twine a little faster than we thought we would. Well, I went down to the end of the field. One, the accumulator held good for 10 bales and then started just losing its mind. Um, when you get just two back bales in this, they will twist and pop under the gate. And that's what they were doing. But I think it's because this hay is still a little on the tough side. So I am going to let this set. It may end up having to set overnight and get raked tomorrow, but I don't know. I'm going to wait. I'm going to go unload that truck. Here's what these other two fields look like. They are again mostly grass, a little bit of alfalfa instead of what we just tried baling, which was a lot of alfalfa. This is definitely dry. And I'm checking down here because there's shade, so this will be the wetter area anyway. Um, there's a tiny bit of moisture there, but not enough. Hey, Lucky. Alright, check this back area. This field will be more shaded than the front, so it'll end up being wetter if it is. First headland's a little scarce. There is, though, way more hay out here than there was first cutting and second cutting. Oh, yeah, this is ready to go. Sweet. So, Dad, I already talked to Dad, that five acres we'll probably end up raking again tomorrow. And then, hopefully, by tomorrow afternoon, it will be ready to bale. Now, that field and these two fields were mowed uh, either a day or two days after the first fields that we've bailed so they are expected to be wetter and not available at the same time but again since this is grass we do have a better chance of being able to bale it right away we got the 40 bales from the other field right here 10 bales that were from that two wet field got a part here on the edge of this one dad's coming with the skid steer in the trailer and then he'll give me a ride back to the baler we'll get started over here this is the new seating we put in. It's looking pretty good. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Grass and alfalfa are coming in good. The other new seating looks great as well. We have also, off camera, drilled in our cover crops on our wheat stubble. That was the Multimax, Multimax or Multimax, from Albert Lee Seeds. So that was clover, or crimson clover, bursium clover, annual ryegrass, uh, tapmaster radishes, and turnips, and Ethiopian cabbage. So that's what we drilled in. Drilled in at about 18 pounds an acre total. And that is growing. It, the radishes are up, the ryegrass is coming up. Everything is there and working. Five acres I got most of it bailed but I ran out of twine and today's Sunday so we don't have access to new twine until tomorrow which hopefully they'll be open tomorrow tomorrow's Labor Day but uh, we're gonna get the skid steer unloaded there's about hundred and seventy bales out here so far get them picked up tonight and stacked so we don't have as much to do tomorrow there we go 170 bales loaded on the gooseneck 
heading back to the farm. And those are all the busted bales. So what happened was um, we switched that one knotter to Cecil twine and it was a 9,000 and then dad went and bought twine for it and all, their, all they had was 16,000 and we tried it and it's just not tying at all using it. So I gotta go get some 9,000 Cecil tomorrow. It's sadly just something we're gonna have to live with until we can cash flow a newer, nicer baler. But for now, the baler is paid for and we are making money, so that is what counts. With our cutting over, I'm just gonna show you guys a quick recap of what we got in storage for third cutting. Hey, right here in the end of this barn, we have two stacks that have to be pulled out and restacked because I don't know, something these stacks just started leaning towards the door and now they're all falling over. But we have 370 bales of grass hay in this field or in this barn. All looking very good. Um, yeah, there's a lot in there stacked right up to the rafters. And I guess I'll just say there's 400 bales of straw that go around in an L around that third cutting. And then we have first cutting down there, which I can't remember how many rounds we got, but I think there's 300 or 350 square bales of first cutting. We're back there in the first part of the barn. We also have, over in this big barn over here, there is 95 bales of, uh, 95 round bales of straw and around 90-ish bales of rye that we mowed and baled for cattle feed so that we could take all the hay that we got this year and sell it for uh, market hay. Which we have, I think there's 11 bales of new crop second cutting there. And this is old crop second cutting, probably around 11 bales there as well. This is overflow rye hay. And then here is 200 bales of alfalfa hay, or alfalfa grass hay that we finished up with the other day. So that is all in here. So all in all, we got plenty of hay, 570 bales of third cutting total. And that is all we are doing for hay for 2023. So that's it for hay season, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed coming along with on most of it. And this is the end of the video. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.